Hi, so I made a post about this a while ago on the dev forum and I meant to add this video to showcase the differences between my script and just to showcase what the script looks like in general and I never did and then someone revived the post asking a silly question and then I felt bad that I never added the video so here I am at about 8 at night making it so I don't have to keep you all waiting anymore until you have to find out for yourselves. This is the original script. It looks decompiled by an executor and the code is ugly as shit. But I mean, at this at the time, it was like the best script because it, if it was a good camera bubble, it was smooth, and it wasn't such a like a, a long as hell script, and it wasn't like you know a mess of modules like some games do it. The only problem with this one, though, if I just move it into some character scripts to show you, is that it does not work with FPS unlockers. So if I just enable my settings right now, you can see that I'm running at about 800 FPS right now. That's because I I enabled uh, Unlock Roblox Studio just for this, and my FPS cap is set to none right now, so you can see this effect. So, when I move, the entire screen just has like a seizure, and it, it looks like there's an earthquake happening if it was like a really shitty camera thing, like as if they were filming a documentary while an earthquake was happening. With If I set my FPS cap to 60, it, it works perfectly fine. So, and it's it's not worked, it's not meant to work with any any FPS above 60. If I set it to 30 FPS, god, this looks like shit. Um, it's slower, you can tell it's slower. And then if I set my FPS to, I don't know, 165, the effect is still there, but it's not like it's having an earthquake. It's just running really quickly, like as if a cameraman didn't have a stabilizer. So I'm gonna set this back to none, and we're back to the earthquake. It works. But if your FPS is above 60, like even if it's just, well, probably a little higher than 60, if it's higher than 60, it's not meant to work for that. It just goes really fast. And basically the whole problem is that it's very reliant on FPS. So uh, then I think about a, a couple of months, maybe years later, I got it made an optimized quote unquote script which uh, professionally quote unquote optimized, which I mean, yeah, the code does look cleaner. It looks very nice and there's not like those little speckles of orange shit that show up that there's like a typo or something, even though there's not and it works perfectly fine. Basically, this script is the exact same, just um, it's just easier to customize and it's differently reformatted. Like you can see here that it's customizable. And everything is basically the same. Like I said, it's just reformatted. I actually used this a while ago, expecting it to be, like I said, optimized to work with FPS unlockers and just generally feel better, but no, I was wrong. This is also very reliant on FPS. If I set it to 60, it works perfectly fine, but anything above 60, it like gets faster. Uh, and like if I just set it to unlimited again, it just, it's just the earthquake all over again. So, fuck I got its optimized script. Then uh, this is my version. Uh, this is completely unedited. I literally just inserted this before I started recording this. Uh, just ignore this. I'm gonna delete this real quick. So this is the original script. Uh, you can see there's like a couple of minor differences. Like at first glance, you probably don't even notice them. Aside from the fact that the lines aren't separated. There's also a bit of a difference down here, yes. So, you may not even notice it on first glance. Down here, in the original script, it's just game get service, run service, render step. Wait. So, in my script, it's a variable instead. So, local step is render step wait. With that, I was able to, you know, actually make the script function with FPS unlockers. So, down here, if running equals true and strafing equals false, then tick equals tick plus guy blah, blah blah blah, you get the gist. On first glance, you, it doesn't really look different, but then you realize, oh, there's like times, 30 times a step. It's like an, a really shitty alternative to delta time. Um, the effect is slower, but my FPS is currently running at about 800, and it doesn't look like you're having a bit of a stroke. And the best part about this is that if you know what you're doing, which I hope you do, you can change this value. So like, let's say, I don't know, let's make it 92, like the original script, if we really wanted to do that. And you can see that it's ever so slightly faster. So if I reduce this number, Again, let's make it 60, let's go drastic here. You can see it's faster, so if I make it one times 
one times that equation. Uh, it's just the earthquake again. What you want to do is keep it above a reasonable number. Above 60 is probably a good number to keep it above because that's like the standard FPS this shit is supposed to work at. So if you keep it above 60, this is what 60 looks like with the default, oops, with the default equation, 60 times 30 times step in between parentheses, that's what it normally looks like. So it, it's pretty, it looks the same at this equation as the old one, but if I remove this, it just goes back to the old thing. It's gonna be a bit of a seizure again. Yeah, see. So as long as this as this little thing here is kept there, and six and this number is kept above, I don't know, 50 or 60, then you should be okay. So let's go back in, and I already showed that I'm running at about 800 FPS. It runs perfectly fine. And if I swap my FPS to, I don't know, cap of 60, it's literally the exact same. There is no difference between effects. And I think that's really cool. Even, even with this, it looks choppier, but it's going at the same speed. It may not be very noticeable, but it is going at the same speed. But yeah, this effect works regardless of what FPS you have. Uh, all, you needed, all I needed to do, and I had way too many problems with this, for some reason was turn the run service render step into a variable and put that as an equation here so yeah that's the that's the showcase video that i was planning to do when i got home because i wrote that post on the mobile and then i never made the video so here's that uh, i hope this was useful i hope this provided some insight i'm gonna add this to the forum post and i'm gonna also upload this on youtube so if you're seeing this then you're probably on either one of those sites thanks for watching i don't know why i'm gonna make an intro about a youtuber that's fucking lame um bye